All right, guys. Uh, welcome to uh, Strong LK and High Octane Fitness. This is one of the most exciting interviews up to date. We have, as you can see, I don't. There's no introduction we need to give. Uh, probably the greatest batsman of our time, and uh, cricket in Sri Lanka has been inspirational because of this person here. Um, and you know, master blaster. Watching as a kid, watching uh, him playing cricket. I'm sure for all of us, all we talk about is Sanat Jayasuri. Yes, so. Guess what? We have Sanat Jayasuri here with us at the show today. Um, Sanat, welcome to Strong LK and High Octane Fitness. Thank you. Um, the re one of the things I see about, like you know, when people talk about cricket, Sanat and fitness, one thing I see is the way you work out. And I, like you know, until I actually saw you working out in my own eyes, I never realized how hard you train and how passionate you are about exercising. Can you just tell us a bit? about how many years you have been working out for and how it has helped your cricket? Uh, I think um, a very good question because when we were started um, in our uh, cricketing career, we never thought that this much uh, fitness we needed. But actually when you play about uh, uh, in a year uh, 35, 40 uh, one day games and about 10 to 12 test matches and apart from that we have our domestic cricket and also we go and play outside Sri Lanka about professional cricket. So all these things, if you want to play, you need to be fit. Because of that, uh, uh, I realized that um, uh, the Sri Lanka cricket realized that we need professional people from that side. Right, so right. then we got Alex and Dev Watmore from Australia to uh, train ourselves properly. Right. So then only we started professional training. So then we all, all want to do our physical training and we did everything possible to make sure that we want to play for a longer period. Longer period. So you, you have to be fit. fit yeah. So then only we, we just uh, start that. Then after that, after retire, we have been on a routine uh, a physical uh, program. Yeah. So you can't uh, go away from that program okay. straight away. Right. So I, I, I'm even now I'm requesting all the cricketers who retired, they should train. They should train very hard because our, our system, our body has used to some kind of a physical routine. Right. So we'll have to do that uh, very often. Yeah. So that's what uh, I'm doing. I, I always motivate myself to do that. Yeah. And I think I, I'm very lucky. I, I'm most of the time I come to high octane and I do very uh, hard working sessions with uh, Darshan, my trainer. Because the thing is, he, he, he also wants to make sure that I maintain that uh, uh, physical fitness. And also in the meantime, uh, it's good for your health and good for your body. Darshan is a strength coach at uh, High Oct I have to, uh, sorry, Sri Lanka Cricket Board, right? Sri Lanka and Cricket Board. You, no? He trains me and, and also we, we, we come here at High Oct yeah. and it, it gives, big, the thing is you need to have all the equipment all at the yeah. same time, uh, free weights or, Weight or machines, weight machines yeah. everything. The, everything possible uh, is here yeah, High Oct So I come here very often. Santa, the other day I was working out uh, with a couple of my friends and in the evening and then I saw you working out. And actually, we were quite embarrassed because we were taking so many breaks during our sets. And next to us, you were working. By the time we had done two exercises, you had finished like five, six exercises. You had finished half your routine. I mean, we were like shocked. And I was actually telling my friends, uh, oh my God, I can't believe how fit this man is. <laughs> and I wish that, uh, you know, we also can be fit like you. How come you train so hard still? after retiring from cricket? Uh, that's, the mom, that's what I was thinking uh, uh, when I was playing also I was thinking about that uh, what I'm going to do after retirement so that's that's the first thing I, I thought myself I should train. train I should train myself and and I should be a fit like what what I have been playing for last 20 years right. so that's what I've been maintaining and it's not easy sometimes when you get up early in the morning to come for a gym and a run you sometimes it's very difficult yeah. but I, I put myself in the first priority yes. to train first yeah. and and also if you train you train properly with Darshana you, he never gives a, a breathing time yeah. no rest yeah. so he pushed yeah. so sometimes it's difficult but I also push very hard so uh, that's my motivation. So I'm very happy that the the thing is, the other thing is, uh, we need to have the, all the equipment. So th that's very important to do a gym. Everyone will come to a gym, go to a gym. But thing is very important. You enjoy your gym sessions. So it has to be environment is nice and people working. It's here I get everything at high octane. I must tell you, this is the first 
gym I go in Sri Lanka. Other than that, I'm not going to anywhere. Ah, great. That's a big compliment, Sanata. Yeah, we're really happy you said that. Uh, oh, Sanata, yeah, I, I, I know fitness is an important part of your life because I remember two weeks ago when you had gone to London or someplace and then you came to the gym and you, I asked uh, Sanata where are you coming from and you said I just landed from London. And I was shocked because most of us, if we land from London, we'll go and sleep. But you yeah. came straight to gym, so obviously fitness is a big part of Ve your, Very big uh, part. part of of, your, yeah, uh, that, that's the key. I think that that's has to be uh, your motivation part. And at the same time, uh, you you think all the time, this is must like you go to work. work yeah. You go early in the morning, you do your work sessions, and you start your work in the day. Mm. So that's how I start myself. Every time, if I go, some days I do two, twice a day. Twice, right. So uh, the day like this, or even yesterday I was supposed to do twice a day because uh, morning I'll do some uh, physical fitness, cardio. Yeah. In the evening I come here to high octane with Darshana and do some little bit of my rehab work. Right, okay. So I do twice a day sometimes. Some, because uh, I think uh, I've been in cricket, but a lot of people say, in, especially in Sri Lanka cricket, that we feel like compared to others, like we'll focus on like cricket practice, bat batting and everything, but they don't really give priority to fitness, right? Very so, good question uh, because at the moment that is what we have. Yeah. They all do batting, they all do bowling all do a, a field in practice yeah. but the fitness is down and you can see in a match sanata yeah, people struggle too close to the yeah, we expose we yeah. expose ourselves without fitness so uh, the, uh, uh, after i became a chairman of selectors yeah. uh, i put all these physical fitness programs priority yeah. and also make sure that they do a lot of cardio work exactly. and, and without doing all the gym work the cardio and gym, gym. must rehab work yeah. but the thing is you have you will expose yourself during a match if you're not fit enough. Fit enough. Because also, Santa, you know, some of the cricketers who we have come and we've um, tried to like train and everything, they've come, they want to do cardio work and everything, but they don't want to do a lot of weights because they are like, oh, I don't want to get big, you don't want to get strong. But with you, I see you doing a lot of weights, doing a lot of, you know, heavy bench presses, squats, everything. So obviously doing a lot of weights has helped your cricket De as well, Definitely, right? because there are, there are places as a fast bowler, you need to strong your hamstring, yeah. bum, your shoulders, there, there are specific uh, weights training programs. Okay, you have to follow those, all those, uh, uh, the programs. That's why I think we have specialist trainers yeah. to do that. They are, they are very good and, uh, and I make sure that is why I make sure the trainers will push those players. Our right. culture is different yeah. because we are, uh, without pushing, they will not do it. Do it yeah. So we are pushing them to do all these things with the trainers. Right. Uh, Santa, about your eating, like uh, how I mean, how do you generally eat? Like, you eat a like you eat a Lama Sri Lankan diet, or are you careful? Because I know you're very lean, and uh, so I know, like, I just want to know what the secret is. Like, how do you? Because I know how busy you are, so mm. how do you manage to eat? What do you eat mm. on a daily basis? Yeah, that that's also a very good question because uh, as a, as a cricketer, uh, and also when you do a lot of trainings, uh, for my priority is to look after my food. Any, any athlete, any sportsman should look after because this part of the world, we, we mostly our food is more carbohydrate, carbohydrate in Asian, Asian style. So we will have to cut those uh, uh, carbohydrate a lot. So I make sure that you have a little bit of rice, is that's okay. Right. But I think more, more protein right. and um, fish, chicken, okay. uh, red meat is good. So I think we need to focus on that area a little bit more and right. you have to look after your food. Right. Less carbohydrate is much better. So you eat more meat and things like that, right? Yeah, I, I, I love to eat fish. Yeah. So I eat a lot of fish and more, more vegetables. And, uh, and, and the thing is, uh, our culture is rice. Right. So the thing is, if you, you can eat rice, yeah. but the thing is, if you it's eat not, rice, you, you, you. you're not going to help. help you. Uh, Santa, do you uh, so like uh, how I mean working out? How often a week do you work out? Do you work out two, three times a week, or do you try to work out every day? Or? Uh, basically, I try to do um, five to six days. Yes, okay. But the thing is, the Sunday is the day given my trainer cheat. to eat. eat yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I it's carefully cheat, yeah, cheat day. Cheat day. <laughs> so Sunday, <laughs> I'm waiting to Sunday to come. <laughs> so what do you normally eat on a Sunday? Like? <laughs> I try to eat a little bit of rice because, I, I, as I told right. you, it's not best, yeah. but we'll try to eat a little bit of rice, yeah. more, more. Cakes other, and stuff, do you Yeah, know? just try a bit of a cake and fruit salad, a bit of ice cream. Right. So, only once a week. So, right. 
that you are you are human being you need yeah, your you body need body asking yeah. all these things yeah, so exactly. so we will love to eat a bit so I, I, you have to have a strong mind strong mind you yeah, have to be is. very strong mind yeah. set for this uh, the training and like you said Santa, one thing is very true you need to uh, like you have a strong mind you need to set yourself goals you can't listen to what other people want for you you have to want it yourself right because I mean, you coming at five in the morning, you can easily say, oh, I'm busy, I'm handling cricket, I have no time for this and all, like, but I mean, day in and day out, you're always at the gym. So you have to sure. have your, your, your routine schedule and whatever you have your schedule, but first priority has to give your, your body and for you. Body. This is for you. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you can't say that you have other people's work is yeah. second. Yeah, so true. you'll have to put yourself in first, yeah. then you go and do your work. Yeah, that's so that's true. very important. I, that's why I think, I think. I, I love this place. Uh, right. I'm, enjoy, you have to enjoy, you know, enjoy yeah. whatever you do. Yeah. You have you can't go with the mindset. Oh, you, I have to go again and yeah. do this. I don't want to do. Yeah. No, you have to come and you enjoy your self yeah. session here. Right. So I, I come always an open mind to high octane and I'm yeah. enjoying my session. That's great because one, like you said, when you enjoy, you always come back, right? Come back. That's what I told all the time our coaches. Yeah. You enjoy your job, cricketers. You enjoy your cricket. So then only you free to play your game. Yeah. That's why people who work here, they should enjoy their job. job yeah. And that's why then we can go to them and ask what we want to do, help us. Or they, they love to do that. Exactly. So then you will, you know, your, your good uh, energy is good. Good, yeah. I'm, Sanata, I'm sure we'll see a big uh, difference in the fitness of the cricketers now that you have come in as chairman of selection committee because I think you will definitely put fitness as a main goal to them. So we are really hoping that we'll see a big difference. But yeah. also to the viewers, you know, I remember being small, even my father saying, uh, oh, they met Sanat Jayasuri somewhere and my God, his arms are like steel and, you know, <laughs> his forearms are so big and all. But actually, you know, his arms are like steel. <laughs> if, you, if you take a look at his forearms, they're, they're like steel. Like, I don't know what he does or what he's eating. But obviously, he, what he's doing something right. Sanate, is there some reason why your arms are like that? Uh, it's like, even when you touch, you, it's like steel. Uh, <laughs> so what, what's the reason? What's the scene? No, that's a small days. I think uh, I've been lucky enough to born with little bit of uh, extra energy with my uh, fibers yeah so and also used to i'm in front of the beach all the time yeah. my house so we jump into the sea and right. swim we do everything in the beach yeah. so our, our life is with the beach yeah. so yeah. It, different culture we were uh, grown, up. grown up so that's why i think uh, it's, it's a bit different. some people need to do a lot of weights Weight, to yeah. get these things done and after about three four days might go down again i have done all the weights possible but i, I will never get four arms <laughs> forums like that so I think I think from small days because you were uh, your parents would have pushed you doing like outside sports you that's know, right on the, you know beach playing doing things like that that has come the, from small days the, different think. things because we, some now here we we, we go and sometimes we don't have water. Yeah. We go to a well and we, we want yeah, to get yeah. the water, water yeah. with the, this thing. So, it, it basically what we do in the gym now, gym, yeah. we have something like that every yeah. day to do it. Yeah, I but always uh, see you doing the rope machine. Yeah. So I think you remember pulling water we, from we, the... We, yeah, we, yeah, well, yeah. That, that's, we, we were small days, we start to do that. Yeah. So, now it's a, it's a thing in the gym. gym yeah. So, that's our small days routine. Routine, right. Everyday routine. Okay. That's great, Santa. Uh, Santa, so I'm like I know the viewers are going to see you doing a workout today, so we are we looking forward to that. Uh, I think uh, your trainer is going to train you today, and you're doing a proper intense workout. Yes, so, definitely. Uh, I will come in the evening, and uh, yeah, you'll be you doing can, a workout. Yes, so, I will do that. Uh, guys, so this is uh, I mean, so we're really privileged to have Sanat with us, and uh, as you can see, he said the importance of fitness. Uh, in uh, in the humans in like in Sri Lankan individuals lifestyle and how important it is to have it uh, as part of your life and fitness is a priority like he said your body is the only thing you want so you need to focus on that before you start doing other things and you need to give yourself some time uh, we're going to do a video of Sanat working out so you can see how hard he trains how such a successful person puts so much time into his fitness so once you see the video, just give us some likes and enjoy the video. And uh, you'll see, we'll keep posting more things for Sanat and his progress later on. Thank you, Sanat. Thank you very much. So. Thanks a lot.